Welcome friends, welcome back to our summer 2022 uh, no churn ice cream extravaganza. Today we're going to make coffee crisp ice cream. Um, and if you're a regular viewer, you know that Julie and I don't really like coffee, yet we do strangely like coffee in things. And as a child growing up, one of my favorite candy bars was coffee crisp. And I think that coffee crisp is still, still a fairly uniquely Canadian candy bar. I don't know that it's sold much outside of Canada. I know that it's made here. It's made here in Toronto. Anyway, um, it's something that um, when we meet people abroad, they'll ask us if we have any coffee crisp. Coffee crisp, maple syrup, or Macintosh toffee is the other one that people always ask for. So I've got two coffee crisp bars and I'm just gonna chop those up. And this is a no churn ice cream, so it doesn't require any kind of special equipment. You just make it, you mix it with a mixer, you can mix it with a whisk. So easy to make. So I need whipping cream. And so we need between two and three cups of whipping cream for this recipe. And you don't have to be overly specific with your measurements. Sometimes I get two, sometimes I get two and a half, sometimes I get three. It really is a forgiving recipe. So there's the first two. And I think I might do maybe two and a half today because I have a smaller container for the freezer. So there's two and a half cups of 35% whipping cream. And just get that in. And we just whip that up. Now you want to whip the cream until it's almost to the whipped cream point. Um, this recipe works because we're whipping air into the high fat whipped cream and then we're adding condensed milk. And the condensed milk brings all of the sugar in the form of a, um, an invert sugar. And the invert sugar keeps ice crystals from forming or slows the formation of ice crystals anyway. And at its core, this recipe can be made just with whipped cream and condensed milk. You don't really have to add any other flavoring into it. It's almost all there, although a little bit of vanilla um, is a good idea. And I don't whip the cream all the way to the finish line. I stop a little bit early and then I add in my flavorings. And so in this instance, to sort of ramp up that coffee flavor, we have our own coffee liqueur that we make. And this is about, about, because it's homemade, 20% uh, alcohol by volume. And so the alcohol slows down the ice crystal formation, but the liqueur itself also brings that coffee flavor, that coffee punch that people like. And if you don't want to use coffee liqueur, if you don't want to buy coffee liqueur, you don't have coffee liqueur, you're opposed to coffee liqueur somehow, um, go ahead and use pure vanilla extract. But know that pure vanilla extract is 40% alcohol by volume. So you're still bringing quite a bit of alcohol into the mix, even if you use less. Bear that in mind. Now we're gonna put in the condensed milk. And from this point, I just finish whipping it. And finishing whipping it will bring together um, all of the flavors and add that last little bit of aeration that we need. That's pretty much it. So, let's see. Amazing, amazing. So I've got the coffee crisp and we'll just put that in. And at this point you can just sort of fold the chocolate bar in, not much to it. And I've got a freezer, a glass freezer container in the freezer and I've got it chilled down. Giving it a head start really helps out because the next step really is just to stick this in the freezer and forget about it for five, six hours. There's not much to this recipe at all. So let's see, will it all fit? I don't think it will. I broke a couple of the containers that I would normally use 
and I haven't been able to replace them. So we'll spread this between two freezer containers. It'll be fine, don't worry. Okay, now, just stick lids on these. And into the freezer they go. Hey Glenn, our next Daniels. flavor. Next flavor. I'm all ready. But. But what? This, was one, this, one, this one might just be for me. <laughs> that's setting it up, right? Like that's a total. Do I just set up for disappointment now? Yep. This is just for you. Mm-hmm. There's a coffee flavor to mm -hmm. it. Blah, blah, blah. Coffee crisp. Yeah, that's great, but you know. How do you like your coffee? The texture's great. Crisp. <laughs> it is creamy, it has a lovely texture, it's chilly, but it tastes like coffee. It does taste like coffee, so. Um, <laughs> ah. <laughs> the, the coffee liqueur brings a lot of coffee flavor to the ice cream base, and then the coffee crisp bits. If you've ever had a coffee crisp, you know what I'm talking about. It's amazing. Pretty sure other parts of the world have coffee flavored candy bars yeah. of some sort. And or you could, mocha flavored that yeah, would blend. They put it in even if you did coffee with chocolate chips. I have friends who would love this. Yeah. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> uh, so maybe with the next flavor, I'll get something that you like a little bit more, but I'm going to eat all this one myself. Okay, there Thanks you go. Thanks for stopping by. See, See you again soon.